live from the Sands Convention Center, Las Vegas, Nevada. Extracting the signal from the noise, it's The Cube. Covering AWS reInvent 2015. Now your host, John Furrier. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are live at Amazon reInvent. I'm John Furrier with theCUBE. Our flagship program, we go out to the events and extract the signal noise. Our next guest is Will Davis, Director of Product Marketing at Trifacta. We've had Joe Hallerstein on theCUBE, founder of Trifacta at Big Data SV uh, last year. Uh, Will, great to see you. We know each other from the big data world, yeah. previous companies, Trifacta, great success. Yep. You know, I mean, you got the, the, Berkeley, the Berkeley vibe going there with Databricks, you got Trifacta. What, give us the update. Obviously, data is huge here. Yeah. Kinesis, all the BI stuff yesterday. Yeah. IoT is going to be a dream for data scientists. You well, guys are in that business. Yeah. Give us the update. Yeah, well, first of all, John, thanks for having me on today. I think we're extremely excited about what's happening here at AWS. The announcement of QuickSight yesterday and Amazon's continuing foray into the analytics space is really exciting for us. So if you look at that announcement, you look at what's going on in this ecosystem, Amazon and AWS is focusing more and more on their customers analyzing and accessing the data in these services, whether that's S3, whether that's EMR and Redshift, and with that comes the need for what we do, data wrangling and data preparation. So data that lives in S3 in these different services really isn't well structured or well formatted for a system like QuickSight. So it's really exciting for us to see this growing demand for analytics on AWS, and we think with that, there's going to be a lot of need for people to prepare that data, access that data, and transform it for different analytics needs. So are you guys worried that you might be subsumed by Amazon? I mean, they're trying to make things easier. Yeah. I mean, data prep, data wrangling, I mean, could you guys see Amazon doing that themselves or are you guys embedded in there with them doing that? So we're really focused on our partnership with Amazon. They see us as one of the leading um, sort of vendors in the data wrangling space. With that, there is going to be you know, potential for them poking around and seeing what we're up to and seeing what the different players are in the space. And also with QuickSight, I'm sure there's going to be some increasing blending and you know, data prep qualities of that product. But um, you know, we're, we're excited about the future, it's a growing space. The QuickSight thing is really just an entry, yeah. it's not really a comprehensive product. Right. So you guys see that more as differentiation. Hey, you got some QuickSight out there, yeah. 60 seconds, you see some stuff, yep. that's going to actually maybe potentially give you guys more business. Oh, absolutely. I mean, people go, like, okay, I want to do more. So yeah. then they buy into Trifacta for more comprehensive, is that, the, is that the way to read it? What's also data that's in these services is not typically well structured for a system like, like QuickSight. So, QuickSight, like a Tableau, like a visualization tool, those um, systems require well-structured, well-formatted, clean data. And you look at all that data that's being dumped into S3, they don't have the structure that a QuickSight will be able to then go out, go out and directly access. So we have a ton of customers that are landing in data in S3 and looking at using Trifacta to explore the, what's in that data and then intuitively transform it for analysis in a system like QuickSight or Tableau or the other visualization partners we have. So what's your take of the show right now? The ecosystem is booming, yeah. and it's about money. People want to make money. Yeah. You guys are a partner. Yep. Do you guys see good opportunity? What's the prospects for sales? How are you guys seeing the show play out for you guys? Um, so we focus on um, on-premise and cloud deployments on Hadoop at this point. Uh, we are looking to expand beyond that. And a lot of our customers, if they're not deploying Hadoop on-premise, they're deploying, deploying it on EC2. So there's a growing, growing um, you know, customer base for us to be able to access and work with that are AWS customers. And also with the AWS stack with S3, EMR, and Redshift, um, data wrangling is a huge need within that ecosystem and we're seeing that you know, as a growing customer base for us as well. Um, so it's really exciting. I think it's interesting to be the vibe here is that it's mostly DevOps and developer focus and we're seeing with Amazon continuing to move into the analytics space that um, we're really excited about the growth of sort of the, the customer base and looking at AWS. How many customers do you guys have now? Really? We have uh, 40 customers right now, over 40 customers, and we're growing at a rapid clip. Every quarter we're yeah, yeah. really growing that. How many, what's the head count? We'll give the update on the stats on the number of employees, um, hiring needs, yeah. what's going on? Yeah, so when I joined over a year and a half ago, we had, I was employee number 31 or 32, and now we're well over 90 employees. We have offices in San Francisco, Palo Alto, Berlin, uh, London, and Boston, and we're growing really quickly, and we're looking across engineering, sales, marketing. All departments, all departments. pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. So data science trend is booming. It's just not enough data scientists out there. How hard is it to find data scientists? Um, or are they in the, around the corners of the world go virtual? Yeah, we, we never want to replace data scientists. We want to enable analysts to be able to work with data in more sophisticated ways. Um, yeah. you know, the data wrangling or data preparation space was typically done in hand coding or in tools like or ETL tools that analysts really didn't have the ability to access. So we want to be able to empower, 
empower those users to be able to do that work themselves, leveraging this unique approach we have to data wrangling. All right, final question. For the folks not here, Yeah. what's the vibe of the show? What's the, what's the big story here this year? I think it, for us, it's the Amazon's focus on analytics. I mean, the QuickSight was one of the biggest parts of, of the uh, keynote yesterday, and that's what we're really excited about, is their continuing focus and growth in that space, and that creates a great need for data wrangling as part of this ecosystem. Trey Fact, they're growing, growing really fast. We met them when they were a few guys, now they're over 90, they're gonna blow past 100. We saw the same trajectory with Cloudera, for yep. instance. Yep. Um, when we first met Cloudera, they were in, in EIR idea, and then they're just now huge. So, you guys, I think, are, are looking pretty good on that, on that front. Congratulations. Yeah, Great to see one. you. We are live here at AWS reInvent. Go to siliconangle.tv, where we have guest of the week. Go to crowdchat.net, it's rocking right now. Crowdchat.net slash reInvent. Join the conversation. And we'll be at the Grace Hopper Celebration in Women in Computing next week. I'll be there. Um, the Cube will be there extracting all the signal from the noise, collecting the dots, connecting the dots, all that great stuff. We'll be back after this short break.